guys, welcome to My Math with Mrs. Hoskins. Today we'll be doing lesson 9.8, which is on equal parts. Equal means the same, remember? You will need a pencil, your shapes, a ruler, if you have one. I did give you one in your bag, but you might have misplaced it and your page 681 from your math book. Okay, let's get ready to learn. Okay, so our lesson is on equal parts. Lesson eight, the essential question, how can I recognize two dimensional shapes and equal shares? We're finally to that part of the question, the equal shares. So our chicken friend here says, looks equal to me. We're going to use our shapes over here to create the equal shares in each part. So we'll start with the trapezoid. You can see we're building a hexagon and it makes two equal parts. And for our triangle, we're building a triangle of triangles. And that is four equal parts. And we're making a square of squares with four equal parts. Now we're going to trace the numbers. And trace the line on your shape. Okay, so all of these are examples of equal parts. Let's move to the inside. Okay, they're showing us some vocabulary words. See and show. A whole can be separated into equal parts. Not the kind of hole you fall in. If I cover the W, then it spells hole like one you can fall in. But when it has the W on there, it means like the whole thing. So you can take a whole thing and break it into equal parts or equal shares. Equal parts of the whole are the same size. So when they cut the square into four equal parts, it looks like that, or into two equal parts. This time it's cut into rectangles, isn't it? So now we need to look down here and write how many equal parts. So how many equal parts there? Two. And how many equal parts in the circle? One, two, three, Four. Draw lines to show equal parts. So we need to show two equal parts. So if I drew a line here, that would not be equal. That would make a triangle and a trapezoid. I'm going to use my ruler and start right at the tip of my triangle and draw a line down separate it into two equal parts and they're both shaped like a triangle. Four equal parts. So again, I have to start by cutting my rectangle in half. Mm -hmm. And now I'll cut it in half the long way with my ruler. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is learning time. 
So I have four equal parts and they are all rectangles. How do you know when parts are equal? Well, I bet you would know if your brother or sister had a candy bar and the mom said to, to give you half and if they give you this piece and they ate this piece, would that be fair? Of course not. You want half. So it would have to be right about here. So you both would have a square of it. So that just means fair and square. Let's go to on my own. You're going to write how many equal parts you're going to draw lines to show equal parts, four here and two here. And then down at the bottom, you're going to circle the shape that shows equal parts. Only one of these is fair and square equal. Okay, go ahead and do your work. All right, let's check. So how many equal parts? Here we have one, two. So you should have written a two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. For drawing the lines for equal parts, you should have cut your square in half and then cut it in half again. Mine aren't exactly equal, but that's okay. Trapezoid into two equal parts. I have to go this way. It's like you're folding it in half so that both halves look the same. Circle the shape that shows equal parts, only this one, the green one is equal. The other ones are not. Let's go to the back. Go ahead and cross off your hot problem. Jasmine cuts her sandwich into two equal parts. Circle Jasmine sandwich. Well, you can see, is that equal? No. Is this two equal parts? Or is this two equal parts? Yes. Damon is sharing a pie equally with three friends. How many equal parts does he need? Well, if Damon is sharing with three friends, that means how many people all together? Damon plus three more, that makes four. So he needs four equal parts. So he could cut his pie like this. That looks delicious. All right, this concludes our lesson for this time and I will see you next time. Bye.